These are some of my first prints with Hue Forge, and even though I didn't really know what I was doing, they still turned out really well. Although not everything I make with Hue Forge turns out this well. This sign in particular, I really liked, but because it's mostly black, which is the base color, it ended up being a little bit floppy, and I noticed that a lot of you guys were having the same issue. So today, I'm going to go through a really quick and simple way to make your Hue Forge prints a little bit thicker. Let's get started. Now let's say you already have a Hue Forge file in mind that you want to thicken. We're actually going to have to take a step back and hop back into Hue Forge in order to make these changes. So the first thing we want to do is take note of our min depth and our max depth. These are numbers that we're going to have to change in order to get the entire thing to be thicker. We're also going to change each of our sliders by the same amount. So let's say I want to increase this by 2 millimeters. Ideally, it should be a multiple of your layer height, but I'm just going to do 2 millimeters to make it easier. So for the min depth, I'm going to change it from 0.24 to 2.24. You can see it changes our model here in the viewer, but don't worry, we'll fix that in a second. We're also going to change the max depth by increasing it by 2, so that's going to go from 2 to 4. Now for each of our sliders, we need to take note of the number and add 2 millimeters to each of them. What we're going to do is we're going to use our scroll wheel on our mouse to scroll up to the correct amount. So here, our black layer is at 0.64 millimeters, so we're going to scroll up until it goes to 2.64 millimeters. There we go, and now we're going to do the same thing with each of our sliders. This one's at 1.28, so I'm going to slide this one up to 3.28. This one's at 1.68, so I'm going to slide it up to 3.68. Finally, this one's at 2, so I'm going to set it to 4. This is just going to be all the way at the top. And there you have it. You can save your Hue Forge model. I'd recommend saving it as a separate version, just so that you have the thin version and the thick version. But let's go ahead and print it and see how it turns out compared to the original. Next up, all we have to do is slice up our model and do the color changes according to our describe window. If you don't know how to do this already, I did already make a video on how to do this in Bamboo Studio, so check that out. Alright, and there we have it. You can see it's a lot thicker, and that's going to print a lot better, especially with all these little pieces at the edges. So, let's see how it turns out. As a control, I'm also going to go ahead and slice and print this one just at its original thickness so that you can see the difference. And here we have the final prints. The thinner one did take a little bit of finagling to get off the build plate, and the thicker one had a little bit of stringing, but I think the stringing is to be expected with the 0.08mm layer height. Uh, I could also dry out the filament, that is another suggestion for if you do have stringing. But other than that, I think these prints turned out really nicely, and the thickening is going to turn out really well on those big thick signs. But with that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe, and happy printing!